Okay, in this problem we're given a third degree equation and we're told to solve it. And we're going to solve it by thinking of this as a polynomial that we factor. And we factor it by looking by finding the zeros. And we, we find the zeros by using the rational zeros theorem. So I'm going to look at this number, the 12, and this 1 right here, the 1x cubed. And I'm going to think about factors of 12 divided by factors of 1 which is of course trivial and the factors of 12 could be positive or negative so there's 1 2 3 4 6 and 12 12 has a lot of factors and all of those could just be divided by 1 which of course means that this is our list of numbers right here 1 2 3 6 4 1 2 3 4 6 and 12 so let's try these and see if any of these give us uh, a zero for this equation here, or a zero for the polynomial, a solution to the equation. So we'll try one, and let's write down the coefficients. One, negative three, four, negative 12. So bring down the one, one times one is one. We add, we get negative two. Negative two times one is negative two. We add and we get two. Two times one is two, we get negative 10. So that didn't work. So let's try the next one, two, and set up our coefficients here. And you might be thinking, you know, these problems, this is a lot of a lot of synthetic division. Just remember that that really beats doing a whole lot of polynomial long division. The synthetic division really is quick and easy compared to the alternative. So just run with it here. One times two is two, and we get negative one. Negative one times two is negative two, and that gives us a positive 2. 2 times 2 is 4. That gives us negative 8. That didn't work, so let's try the 3. And set this up. 1, negative 3, 4, and negative 12. So, and we'll bring down the 1. 1 times 3 is 3. That gives us a 0. 0 times 3 is 0. And we add and we get 4. 4 times 3 is 12. And we get 0. So that's it. 0 remainder. We've got it. One of the zeros is 3, so this factors as x minus 3, and then this gives us x squared plus 4. So this is easy here. x minus 3, uh, x equals 3 is one of the zeros, and over here we need to say x squared plus 4 equals 0 and solve for x. Well, that's the same as saying x squared is negative 4 which means we can say that x is plus or minus the square root of negative 4 or x is plus or minus 2i. So the zeros are, and there are three of them, the zeros are 3, 2i, and negative 2i. Okay, here's one more example. We're told to solve this equation. 6x cubed minus 11x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals 0. Find all the values for x that will satisfy this equation. And since this is a third degree equation, we would expect to find three solutions. And we'll solve this by factoring this polynomial or finding the zeros of that polynomial. And we do this with the rational zeros theorem. I look at the 4 and the 6 and I think factors of 4 divided by factors of 6. And factors of 4 are just 1, 2, and 4. And factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. And I'm going to put a plus or minus sign out there. So this is going to give me a pretty big list. I can have 1 over 1, 1 over 2, 1 over 3, 1 over 6, then I could have 2 over 1, 2 over 2, which is already in the list. I could have 2 over 3, and 2 over 6, that's already in the list right there. Then I could have 4 over 1, 4 over 2 is already in the list, 4 over 3 is a possibility, and 4 over 6 is already in the list. So this is a list, and this is a pretty big list when you consider positive and negative. But I'm, I'm going to try the ones in this list. Now I'll try the simple ones first. And all I have to do is find 1. 
this is a degree three polynomial here. So as soon as I find one factor, I'm, I have it down to a linear factor and a quadratic. And the quadratic is always going to be easier to deal with. So we'll start with the one here. And let's see if this works. So set up the coefficients. 6, negative 11, negative 4, and 4. And draw a line. Bring down the 6. 6 times 1 is 6. We add negative 11 and 6 gives us negative 5. Negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. We add and we get negative 9. And negative 9 times 1 is negative 9. And we add and we get uh, negative 5 there. Okay, so that didn't work. So let's try the 2 next. We could try the 1 half next, but I think it's nice to skip the fractions at least at first. See if one of these integer values works first, just because the integers are a little bit easier to check with the synthetic division here. So 6 negative 11, negative 4, and 4. Bring down the 6. 6 times 2 is 12, and we add and we get 1. 1 times 2 is 2, and we add and we get negative 2. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, and we add and we get 0. So that did it. This factors as x minus 2, and then 6x squared plus x minus 2 equals 0. And so we can immediately see here that x equals 2 is one of the solutions. And then we need to solve this. 6x squared plus x minus 2 equals 0. And I'll go straight to the quadratic formula here. a is equal to 6, b is equal to 1, c is equal to negative 2. And so x is going to be negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c and c is negative all over 2a and so this gives me negative 1 plus or minus and under the radical here this is 1 and you see this minus and that negative that's going to give me 1 plus 6 times 4 is 24 times 2 is 48. 1 plus 48. And that's going to be over 12. So let me come down just a little bit. have a little bit more room to work. So this is negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 49 over 12, which is negative 1 plus or minus 7 over 12. And we can work that out. Negative 1 plus 7 is 6. 6 over 12 is a half. And then negative 1 minus 7 is negative 8. Negative 8 over 12 is negative 2 thirds. So now we have our solution. Three answers here. 2, 1 half, and negative 2 thirds. So x equals 2, 1 half, and negative two-thirds.